Now, peer-to-peer -peer anything seems like a scam to most people, or at the very least, an extremely shady way to go about receiving a service. Now, in the past, this has most notably been done with loans, but now it's coming for insurance companies as well. So now the United States has its first peer-to-peer -peer insurer known as Lemonade, which promises to make the insurance lending business delightful by throwing out all of the bureaucratic mechanisms of other insurance agencies. Now, normally getting insurance coverage can be a terrible process in providers seeking to minimize their payouts. Now Lemonade with its peer-to-peer -peer model are claiming that they are changing all of that, but the question still remains, is it really worth the hype? So on this episode of Finance Theory, we are going to be answering exactly just that by doing a deep dive into Lemonade Insurance to see if their claims are really true and if they are better than the traditional insurer out there. Now, when looking at any insurance provider, the most important metric to measure them by is, of course, their fees. Now, obviously, it is impossible to predict how much each person is going to have to pay out because premiums are dependent on numerous unique factors, such as how much personal property you have and whether you are choosing to cover extra or expensive items. That being said, however, Lemonade's insurance policies do start Start at a minimum of $5 per month, which is far lower than the traditional insurer. Now you can also adjust the amount of coverage that you want through the Lemonade app and immediately see your corrected quote. And naturally, higher payouts do demand higher premiums, so you can also increase the level of coverage that you want on expensive items. And currently, the options available to increase that rate are jewelry, fine art, bicycles, cameras, and musical instruments. So the extra coverage for these includes coverage for loss, accidental damage, and coverage for theft anywhere in the world. Now, in order to be able to offer those extremely low prices, Lemonade is using a very unique business model. So the peer-to-peer -peer system is a socially based model whereby a group of people pool their resources together by paying those insurance premiums and then putting it all into one large collective pot. So then when one person within the group needs to make a claim, they're able to take money out of that pot. Now, customers are grouped into different types of peer groups, with each individual group pooling their premiums together to cover their other peers' claims. Now, fortunately, Lemonade is pretty transparent about their whole setup, so it takes a total of 20% off of your premium in order to cover operational expenses, such as salaries, running costs, and technology replacement. The rest of those premiums go to insuring customers. And now here is where their really clever and unique selling feature comes in. If there is still money remaining in the pot, at the end of each month, Lemonade is able to donate that money to a charity group of your choosing. So this totally flips the traditional way of how insurers work on its head, where providers are insurance to minimize payouts in order to maximize profit. So unlike traditional providers, Lemonade doesn't see any additional money if they have leftover at the end of each month. And this means that there is no incentive to make your life difficult with large deductibles or other bureaucratic hurdles. So right now with Lemonade, you can currently get renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, and insurance for condos or co-op dwellers. Now their basic policies include protection for theft or damage to your possessions, personal liability insurance, loss of use insurance to cover the cost of accommodation if your home becomes uninhabitable for some reason. You also get medical payment insurance if a guest does get injured within your home. Now you can also opt to get additional add-on coverage for valuable items or the loss or accidental damage to your possessions. Now the entire company is based digitally and that is making them extremely popular with younger adults with 75% of their user base being under 35 years old. Now with that interesting and unique structure, it may seem that the company does not cover very much. Now that is not necessarily true because they are offering three different types of coverage right now. So if we focus on the homeowner's insurance for a second, the dwelling as well with all of your possessions within it are covered in the event of a loss. Now it also covers damage to certain exterior structures like detached garages, pools, and fences. Moving on to condo owners, Lemonade's insurance covers you from everything from the outermost wall inwards. And this includes any personal items that you may have within your unit. Now, 
co-op owners are also going to get coverage from the sheetrock walls inward. Now, Lemonade also provides coverage for all kinds of different perils listed in their policy declarations, and those include things such as fire, wind, tornado, theft, and vandalism. Now, earthquake insurance, which is currently available in California and Arkansas, can be added to your policy very quickly. Now, if you want flood insurance, that does have to be purchased under the National Flood Insurance Program. So in terms of theft and personal belongings, the base policy is going to cover you up to $2,500 per item, totaling up to $10,000 in total. And Lemonade will also cover temporary living expenses if your home does become available all the way up to $2,500. And finally, you also have access to liability insurance if you're responsible for someone else's injury on your property, which can go up to $100,000. Now, unlike a lot of other insurers out there, Lemonade offers a ton of special features for you to get behind. The first is their zero everything policy. So if you are a renter or co-op owner within the states of California, Texas, Nevada, and Illinois, you have access to this policy. Policy. So this means that if any of your possessions are stolen or damaged, you can get them replaced without having to question whether or not it's financially viable to make the claim in the first place. And this policy also allows you to make two of these claims before you are subject to a rate hike. Now there's also extra coverage add-ons. Now these allow you to add extra coverage to certain items. And Lemonade breaks this down by $1,000 in extra coverage and will instantly show you how much premium you're going to pay. And one reason that you may be interested in extending your policy is if you have a family. And the good news here is that Lemonade automatically covers all members at no extra charge, as well as your landlord if your tenant agreement requires you to to add them. Now if you want, you can also add your significant other at an additional cost. However, roommates will have to take their own insurance. Now let's say that you live in an area that has very frequent or high levels of natural disasters. Well, Lemonade has you covered there as well with, with their 16 perils feature. Now this service allows you to pay out the replacement value of all relevant items so that you can get your life back on track a lot faster. Included in the list of these 16 perils is fire and smoke damage theft and vandalism, bad weather such as hail, and water damage. And that is a lot more than most other renter's insurances do cover. And if you happen to own a dog and it does bite someone, you will be covered for both the liability and medical payments, as long as it doesn't have a history of biting people and isn't considered a vicious breed. Now finally, Lemonade is offering what they call outside coverage. So if any of your possessions are stored within something like a storage locker, they are also going to be covered up to a value of $1,000 or 10% if you live in New York, California, or Connecticut. So overall, most people's experience with Lemonade can be considered overwhelmingly positive. Signing up is extremely simple and straightforward, and naturally, the rates beat out almost all of the competitors out on the market today. So I don't know anyone personally that's had to make a claim and how smoothly that went, but I don't have any reason to believe that it is very difficult. Now, if you do have any experience with this, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I would love to hear about your personal experiences. So that's all I have for you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I'm assuming you did. So with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one.